Hello, I'm Joe, aka Mr. Fragrance, and today I'm going to be talking about five fragrances that I was a little bit late to the party with. Enjoy the video. Welcome back. So I've got a couple of things to say before I get into the video. Um, and the first thing is that I'm sorry my uploads have been very irregular. In fact, there just haven't been many in the past week, and there aren't going to be many in the next couple of weeks either. That's probably next two weeks. Unfortunately, I have exams right now and it's all a lot, a lot of work and I really need to be focusing on that. But there will be a couple of uploads coming up um, that you can look forward to and the odd podcast and things like that that will still be coming out. Um, just not the steady two to three, to eight, sometimes four a week that you sometimes get from me. Um, so I'm sorry about that. But let's just move on to the video. I'm talking about five fragrances that I decided that I would get due to the pressure of YouTube. Um, having created a YouTube channel, I decided there's you know some fragrances out there that so many people love that I feel like I should really have just so I can relate. So I must say there are lots of these fragrances actually. I had I bought loads over the last couple of months, but I only have five today to talk through. Some are designer, some are cheapies, and um, most most are relatively cheap. Uh, but there's a couple that are a little bit more expensive in there as well. So you'll have seen me talk about all of these on the YouTube on the YouTube channel before, and um, maybe unboxings, maybe hauls, whatever. The first fragrance I'm going to be talking about though is the iconic Aqua de Gio, um, by Giorgio Armani. I mean, how could a fragrance reviewer not have tried this or owned this? You know, that's the that's that's the question I had to ask myself. So I thought everyone loves this. It's a classic. I should really buy it. And this is Aqua de Gio by Giorgio Armani, and I love it. I really do like it. Um. It's actually, I mean, I've got a very unpopular opinion. I've now tried them all on the line. Don't own them all, I've got two of them. And it's my favourite of the line. Um, there's a couple that are very, very different. I find Profondo is quite different and I find that Absolute is quite different. Um, and I really like Absolute. It's, it's very, very mass appealing, but at the same time, it's very nice. And it's got the kind of sweetness that you'd expect from a fruitiness, sorry. You, well, it's fruity sweetness that you kind of expect from your um, Zara Wanted by Night, that kind of thing, or even just a Zara Wanted. Uh, but no, really like this bottle. This, on the other hand, uh, has this lovely, fresh, aquatic um, note, and it's, it's quite a citrusy, zingy opening. It's got this almost herbaceous tea aromatic mid and then this woody lovely woody base there's enough wood in there to make this not completely and overwhelmingly kind of ambroxin aquatic um like bergamot and lemon top note it takes away from that and it allows it to kind of be a little bit smoother um and ensures that this sharpness at the top isn't too much the next one is the only proper cheapy i have on this uh on this list and this is um it's a it's a great fragrance it's controversial lots of people just like it i like it though this is dupe om um, and uh one of the first fragrances i talked on um, about on my channel i'll see the box falling on the floor there um to, <sighs> so many people hate on this but i i love it i am um, when i first did my first impressions of it i said it's not as sweet as I expected it to be from the multiple reviews I'd seen on this saying it's an overwhelmingly sweet, syrupy sweet, powerful fragrance and I'll give you that it's powerful, I'll give you that but and I'll also give you that it's sweet, it is sweet but I don't find it that um, kind of really overwhelmingly sweet I find it spicy, I think it's got some depth to it, I find it a little bit spicy um, but I, I will give you it, it's sweet, yeah. Um, and it is almost syrupy sweet as well, but I think a lot of that is kind of conveyed and, and perceived in the mind because of the colour of the juice. Um, so yeah, but Dupalm is a very nice fragrance. It does have that spiciness, it does have that sweetness. Um, the spiciness probably does come from the cinnamon note, which is identifiable. It doesn't smell like natural cinnamon like you might think, but it does have that, you can pick up that kind of cinnamon maple syrup smell from this and I really like it I think it's I think it's well worth a purchase if you don't own dupe om it's worth a try you may be one of these people that absolutely despises it or you may be a little bit like me really don't mind it I quite like it wouldn't wear it as my signature but happy to wear it a little bit you can see I've gone through the juice a little bit and I will continue to wear it 
Next up, an icon in my collection. This is Boss Bottled Intense. Oh, the parfum. I've got a couple of bottles of this. This is the one going currently. Absolutely beautiful fragrance. Such a shame it's been discontinued. As it kind of gets a little bit older, it smells even better. Boss Bottled Intense Eau de Parfum, one of my absolute favourite fragrances. I, first of all, I love the bottle. I think the presentation is great. But the smell of it is this lovely apple cinnamon base and DNA as you get from the original fragrance. Um, the apple is there in this one, but nothing like as much as in the original. This is far, far less uh, fresh and kind of lovely and uplifting in as the original and it's a little bit deeper it's got more depth it um has a bit more spiciness it's it's heavier and it's woodier that's the main thing um the aromatics in this aren't aren't there to to give it just a little bit of lift to the freshness like it was in the original instead in this one they're there to bring it down and it's lovely i can totally imagine anyone in a suit wearing this anyone that's kind of Got a business meeting, and I think this is such an attractive scent. Um, I know that from from friends I know and and girls that I know, they find this very very attractive on a man. It is a very sexy fragrance, and I almost dropped my favorite fragrance on the floor there. So another that I was uh, made to buy by YouTube. YouTube didn't let me not have this. I had to buy it. Was one million parfum. Now it was either this or one million, but I'll tell you something for sure now. I do not like One Million anything like as much as One Million Parfum. In fact, I'm almost now at the point of disliking One Million. I find it kind of gives me a headache. It's not got enough to it. it it's just this banana-like sweetness to me. Like this really, yeah, banana-like sweetness that I just can't, I just couldn't wear. It's just too linear and nothing else to it. Whereas this is a huge step up. This is like a grown up. This is like the granddad of one millions it is beautiful it's still got that dna the sweetness but instead it's got a leathery touch to it it's certainly got that saltiness i can't quite describe how it's got but you it's one of these things where you're told it's got saltiness in it and as soon as you smell it you go oh my god it does have salt that's weird and you understand it but it it does have this salty smell to it that's kind of hard to describe i guess a, li a little bit like standing on the seaside but not really, because then that makes it sound a little bit like an aquatic fragrance. So, yeah, it's a brilliant fragrance and I'm so, so glad I managed to pick that one up. And finally, a fragrance that I bought not only because YouTube pressured me into buying it, but also because of a video and a review I'd seen about a year ago from now, and that was from George, the Fragrance Apprentice. He made a video on this Terry Mugler Pure Malt, and he shot it in the hometown, the brilliant central city the landmark of edinburgh now edinburgh is known as the home of whiskey and of course it's the capital of scotland so i guess that's why he shot this video here and uh, he obviously completely aroused my senses and uh, brought this fragrance to my attention and i'm so glad i saw that video i was a at the time and still am a huge fan of george's channel and in buying this a year on from then maybe I bought this a couple months ago I'm so so glad I did it is a beautiful fragrance you get this beautiful whiskey note whisking you through coming through um, and it is really really lovely it's as you'd expect not too alcoholic because of course it's got to appeal to the masses of those looking to buy a fragrance such as this um, on the designer market so instead this whiskey is not just really heavily alcoholic and boozy whilst that is there a little bit of the booziness it's just very sweet and it's very luxurious and it's lovely and syrupy and, and thick and beautiful. Um, and those kind of musky, sour opening and mid comparing and mixing with this whiskey base and mid as well are what makes this fragrance so special. At times you'll think you've smelled other things like this and then suddenly you'll get this waft of it and you'll be like, mm, there's things about this that are similar to other things I've smelled. But then there's certain aspects of this that you've never really smelled in a fragrance other than this. So it's a very unique fragrance at times and at other times it's not. It's weird. This fragrance has elements of it which are very, very unique. 
at the same time they use elements of other fragrances that people love and I think that that's what's made this fragrance so popular and so so successful. I love the fragrance and I'm so glad I bought it. So thank you YouTube and I guess thank you me for making a YouTube channel and, and therefore pressuring myself into buying it. So thank you to George for making a video and thank you to everyone that told me that this was a fragrance I needed to pick up. So yeah, those are five fragrances that I have made and purchased in the last six months that really was because of YouTube. Um, six or seven months actually, um, but yeah. I'm gonna make a video in the, probably about six months from now and those are gonna be another further five fragrances that I've bought from the period of time from now until then. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what they could be, what's on the horizons. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time on Mr. Fragrance. Bye for now.